Alright everybody, how's it going? Big Cat here with Pixel Entertainment once again. It's time for that lovely segment known as Gaming News. Oh boy, oh boy. So, this month we're going to be covering the Smash Ballot. Um, probably Battlefront. I might do that for another video because it's actually being confirmed or it's being talked about today at 10. Um, let's see. Smash Ballot. Possible fighters that might be getting in. How many fighters Nintendo actually wants in uh, the developers wanting their characters in and then also news from Platonic so let's jump into it um, starting off with the smash ballot those of you who don't know smash ballot was <clears throat> a place where people could recommend their favorite characters for smash brothers some of them were serious others were not which, of course, that'll happen from time to time. But, you know, today we're going to be regarding the top five characters, such as King K. Rule, <clears throat> Shovel Knight, Banjo-Kazooie, Snake from Metal Gear Solid, and then Isaac from Golden Sun. Now, Snake had previous experience, just like Mewtwo and um, uh, Lucas, and I think he was a fan favorite, I'm not sure. I, I don't really like him as much, but a lot of people do. Also, there's a high chance for Wolf to come back in. I don't know how many people really want Wolf, but uh, probably over Isaac. Or Nintendo might pick him, or might pick them over Banjo Kazooie because they don't want to sponsor Microsoft, you know, a rival company. Even though Phil Spencer said it'd be pretty cool to see him come in. But King K. Rule, on the other hand, I don't know if he's still owned by uh, uh, Microsoft still, or more specifically Rare because they were the ones who previously owned the rights, but that's hard to say with the release of DK64 on the uh, virtual console. So, <clears throat> not only that, but Shovel Knight, I think he has a pretty high chance of coming in. Um, he's a fairly recent indie character, and I think he's actually getting his game released. Either it is released or it's coming out soon. And Nintendo likes to do this thing with Fire Emblem characters where, oh, we got a new game coming out, let's put one of their characters in. Like they did with um, Roy, which is why he was a Marth uh, clone, just with fire rather than just basic sword attacks. <coughs> um, but regarding to the, like, how many characters we're going to get, if you go to Smash Brothers and then select any character, you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see the bar of all the characters. And after Mewtwo, there's five slots. So if we, if we assume that one slot owns or is owned by Lucas himself, then that means there's only four characters getting in. So I don't see everybody on this list getting in. And Nintendo doesn't see it either, clearly, but who I actually want in is Shovel Knight, Banjo Kazooie, uh, Shantae. And then, I'm tossed up between Geno, Skull Kid, or Rayman. So I'm trying to keep it to four, but you know, those are the characters I'd like to see in Smash. I know Skull Kid won't be making an appearance because he's already an assist trophy. And with that being said, you know, any character that has appeared in the background of any stages as a stage hazard or just a random character, uh, they will not be in Smash. Either that or <clears throat> if they're assist trophies they definitely won't be in smash so that's why skull kid and Waluigi and a bunch of other characters don't have a huge chance but i'm still hoping that skull kid will eventually be able to be playable i thought it'd be pretty cool rather than just using mods all the time but uh so again from that i've got an article open about the uh, Phil Spencer debate, or not debate, but the whole thing, so him, him saying, hey, let's use him in Smash. So if you want to read up on that, see what he says, then you can take a look at that himself. Or yourself, sorry. Um, now, 
we already covered all that. So now let's just jump into Platonic. Uh, Platonic had said something that was on Facebook. Nope, still there. Okay, good. Um, <clears throat> it's the same picture of the characters that they've teased before. And it says, who could be hiding there? 50 days we, in 15 days, we meet the new heroes from the talent behind Banjo-Kazooie. So, uh, people assume, or are making jokes that it's just Banjo-Kazooie, but it's actually a lizard and some sort of tropical bird. And given the fact that the game is Project Ukulele, I've said this last time, but I think it's going to be a tropical-based game, so it's safe to assume Oh, Jesus. Safe to assume that the new characters will be tropical based characters. Like, and I think if you brighten up the image, you can see the beak you know, or the ear of the lizard or something. But it's obviously going to be tropical based animals. I don't exactly know which animals, but I'll brighten up the image and see what I can find. So aside from all that, um, Battlefront is being really is being like talked about in a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do a video on it. I'll probably do a reaction video. But if you guys haven't seen the uh, DLC trailers for Lucas or Mewtwo, there at the beginning of the video. So if you want, go ahead and watch those. I'll put the Smash Fighter ballot, the like the whole. Um, Nintendo Direct thing from April 1st that nobody believed at first until they actually watched it. Uh, so yeah. Well, sorry for the short episode, everybody, but I got done a lot sooner than I thought I would. So I hope you guys have a wonderful night, day, evening, or whatever it is. Um, stay sexy. <laughs> I love lamp.